Everybody else. Chess? I've been thinking a lot, as silly as this may sound, after the Cubs win in the World Series. I've been thinking a lot about... Yeah. Sorry, baby. Um, Hallelujah. I've been thinking a lot about that, like with the curse. Whether they actually were cursed or whether it was all in their head. But people have been talking about this for so many years. You know, 71 years since the GOAT thing in 1940s and longer than that since they you know, won a World Series, but I've been thinking about that with the curse, like how many Christians are living like they're under a curse still? Preach, Tales. How many Christians are still living like they're under a curse? Maybe they've never been taught. Christians and non-Christians alike that Jesus redeemed us from that. We're free from the law of sin and death. We have dominion where we walk, what we put our hands to, wholeness, total healing, shalom, peace. How many Christians are living like they're still under a curse? Maybe it's maybe they haven't been taught, but I think it's time to speak out in truth that people can be free from these things. Yes, yes, people don't yes. realize the freedom they can have in Christ and the total wholeness that they can have in Christ. Maybe they've never heard of the things of the Spirit. Maybe they've never seen miracles or devils cast out or, or the real power of God. But we're free from the curse. It's time for us to start living like it. Yes. That's a good word. That's a good when somebody speaks a good word like that, I literally just imagine myself receiving that good word as it's going forth. Power in the spoken word. When it goes forth, I'm taking it. I'm receiving it. You don't live under a curse anymore. Well, grandma had diabetes and great grandpa, he just never could, you know, he's an alcoholic. Uh, my aunt on this side, she was depressed and it runs through the family line. Well, not over you. I don't care what runs through your family line. I don't care what you go to the doctor and fill out that little sheet. Did, did, did anybody in your family have this? Did they have this? I don't care what you fill out on that sheet. It doesn't rain over you. If you claim it. We've told, we've told you for so long that if uh, great aunt Millie leaves Chelsea a million dollars in the bank, she's rich. If nobody tells her, she'll never go claim it. She'll keep living like she's poor. <laughs> But if somebody says, guess what? You got a million dollars. Aunt Millie left you that in the bank. She's going to run in that bank. She's going to claim it. She's going to begin to live as she should. She's going to reign in this life as she should. Now, that's a physical example for something spiritual. If nobody's told you that you're free from the curse, you will accept the curse onto yourself. Even though Jesus has redeemed you, you will accept it onto yourself. Well, it's just the way it is in my family. Gosh, I'm sure I'll be that way too. No, I'm telling you, you don't have to be. This is the good news. This is, this is the gospel, people. Gospel's good news. Gospel's like, if you don't do right, you're going to hell. You know, the gospel is good news. The good news is you're free from the law of sin and death. You're free from curses, generational curses even. You're free. Somebody just lift your hands right now and say, I am free from the law of sin and death. I am free from generational curses in my family. I'm free. Jesus, you are free. That's a good word. I thank God for it. Anybody else?